just a little bit of backstory to, to set the stage. So I used to live in Germany. In my church congregation, or ward is what we call them, there was a certain lady who was really into family history work. She wanted to learn all about where her ancestors from and she was, she was really good and diligent with it. She knew that she had ancestors in Sweden and she knew a lot of their names um, and she knew she had connections to Finland but didn't exactly know who the people were or there seemed to be like uh, something missing that was preventing her from learning about her Finnish ancestors. I get my call to Finland and she goes absolutely insane. She's so excited for this opportunity. Oh, Steven's going to Finland. Maybe he can find some of my ancestors. So she comes to me and she starts raving all about this opportunity. And I'm kind of sitting there like, wow, you have ancestors in Finland. That, that, that's amazing. Uh, and she's like, can you find them? And I'm like, I don't know. But yeah, sure, maybe, I'll try my best. And as I was in the missionary training center, whereas, which is where missionaries go to get trained for a nine week period before we actually go into our field, um, she, this lady, her name is Jane, she continued to write me and give me updates about how she was researching about her ancestors in Finland. When it was my eighth week in the missionary training center, she learned that she had ancestors in a city called Vasa. She told me if I ever made it to Vasa, to take this little photo of her ancestors around and show it to people and be like, hey, this, their last name is England. Do you know these people? <laughs> and maybe I could use that as a way to talk to people. And I was kind of like, sure, wh why not? Uh, sounds interesting, but the idea of actually finding her ancestors in such a massive country like Finland based on size and the many cities that there are, the chances of me going to Vasa and finding her ancestors were so incredibly small, I couldn't even guess the percentage, but less than 0.00 something percent. One week later, I'm in Finland, and my mission president, without knowing any of this information whatsoever, he assigns me to the city of Vasa, which is one of about 30 cities that I could have gone to. Long story short, within my first day of talking to people on the street, I met one of her ancestors. He was a Swedish Finn who only spoke English, he didn't speak a lick of Finnish, which was great for me because <laughs> I didn't speak any Finnish at all. So I could talk to him in English. We met with him about a week and a half later um, and he actually lived in a, in a remote town outside of the actual city of Vasa, which was a strictly Swedish speaking town. We would have never gone there if he wasn't in the very right place at the very right time to meet us in the city center where he was only gonna be for a day because he was moving. And that was an incredible story and it actually, I just recently received this letter from Finland and this has the magazine article which is in Finnish which shows kind of like a documentation of the entire story which they published and this would be some of the pictures that are on there of the old picture she was telling me to go around and show people the name was England, and I was just looking at all the doors and saying, England, England, hey, this door says England. We have to knock it, I hope they're home. And um, this picture right here actually has me, Jane, and her living Swedish Finnish ancestors. And through this incredible miracle, she was able to be connected to over 30 of her living ancestors that are currently living in Finland that she had no idea about until I had the opportunity to go out and serve in Finland. And that was an incredible testament to me about how miracles really can happen if we put in the effort and if we truly believe. And that was within my first week and a half of my mission. And it all just happened so quickly and that gave me a huge boost going on to the, the rest of my mission to spread a message of hope and love to the people that miracles do happen if we really look for them.